side of the transmitter, you have an output connection socket available for the direct connection mode when using the lead. When using the clamp mode, you will have the clamp accessory. There is a 1.5 amp output fuse as well as a speaker output. The four clips on the sides will allow you to remove the battery tray. On the bottom inside of the transmitter housing, you will find a USB socket. This socket is used for software upgrades to the transmitter should it be needed. You can remove and replace the batteries by unscrewing the hand screws of the battery cover plates inside the tray housing. On the top of the housing, there is an LCD display and a keypad. Turn on the transmitter. The transmitter will default to induction mode if the output leads and the clamp are not connected. At the top, you will notice the frequency that the transmitter is generating. The bottom vertical bars show the requested output setting. On the left, we can see the level of the battery displayed, and in the upper right, the volume of the sound is shown. Press the plus and minus buttons to increase and decrease the amount of signal injected into the line. To change frequencies, press the function, or F button. The frequencies will begin to cycle with each press. When a direct connection lead is attached to the unit, a direct connection symbol is displayed on the lower right side of the LCD. The center digits show the amount of current that the unit is injecting into the load. If the output voltage goes above 30 volts, a lightning bolt will be displayed on the LCD as a warning. The third mode of operation is the clamp mode. Here you can increase and decrease the signal with the plus and minus keys. In this mode, the available frequencies are between 8K and 83K. A clamp symbol will be displayed in the lower right corner of the LCD. Pressing the I button once will display the speaker. With the plus and minus keys, it can be adjusted. Pressing the I button twice will display the output voltage. Pressing the I button three times will show you the resistance of the line. Pressing the I button a fourth time will allow you to choose a second frequency to run alongside your current frequency. The display will now go back and forth between the two frequencies. This dual mode is available for frequencies between 300 Hz and 33 kilohertz. Lastly, pressing the I button five times will bring you to a list of frequencies where the user can choose which frequency he wants available on the main screen. Once the needed frequencies are chosen using the F key, you can return to the main screen by pressing the I button.